Hey, morning, Mr. May. Are you there? Morning. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. We got you. Appreciate you joining us today. Thanks so much. Uh, apologize for the little bit of technical challenges, but wanted to have you on. You guys uh, hosted the MML statewide, the Mississippi uh, Municipal League statewide meeting last week. Give us an update. How did that go? You know, it went very well. Uh, our statewide annual meeting was back in the summer. Uh, yeah. And we have uh, the largest statewide conference and we did it on the coast with 2,500 municipal officials, municipal employees, state agency representatives, legislators, and exhibitors all coming down to the Mississippi Gulf Coast to not only talk about common challenges, but common opportunities and how we could excel Mississippi and strengthen Mississippi by strengthening cities and towns. And so we do a really wonderful job in that. Uh, we had Lieutenant Governor down back in the summer. Yeah. A week ago, we had the small town conference in Hattiesburg. That's, and they yeah, had about okay. 450 municipal leaders. And what we try to do, as you know, Gerard, Mississippi is comprised of about 85% of small towns. And these are towns, 1,500 folks or less. So yeah. we really catered to strengthening our small towns and villages. And so we talked about a number of things. Of course, the American Rescue Plan, uh, we talked about training regarding the form of government because when we had municipal elections back, we had about a 35% turnover of new elected officials. So MML is charged with not only providing training to municipal, new municipal leaders in small towns, but also uh, giving uh, state leaders an opportunity to talk about what they're doing in their agencies so they can strengthen their communities and better the quality and quantity of life of their folks by getting yeah. the right information, the timely information to affect change in their local communities. So we do that at MML. Yeah, so, Mayor, you know, one of the things that is always top on the list and seems to be discussed uh, within the political realm on a regular basis is this concept of workforce development. Uh, and, and that, you, in fact, if you had the lieutenant governor, I'm quite sure he talked about it. He he. he uh, he, t he typically does reference the fact that he has discussions with lots of uh, uh, employers, and they all say number yeah. one issue is is finding qualified staff to fill their ranks. Uh, what's what's an update on that? What do you see coming from a municipal perspective and working with the state government, and perhaps to some extent even the federal government to to try to uh, address that issue? Well, you know, Rob, last week I was there at Hobnob. Not only did the governor, the speaker, and lieutenant governor all speak about workforce development, but yeah. the municipal leaders around the state have that at the forefront of our priority as well. So when you really truly think about workforce development, you think about regional approach. And I know here in the Mississippi Delta, we've been working with a number of organizations from Delta Council, Greenwood, Greenville, Leland, everybody joining forces, our planning development districts who help cities and towns working together to strengthen workforce, particularly with our yeah. uh, community colleges. We work with MDCC. And so when you talk to municipal leaders from the north part of the state, the central part of the state, even the south part of the state, they're working with their PDDs to find the right mix to get folks working and working with the corporations to say, okay, what we're doing. I know here in Greenville, we are an ACT work ready community. And we're training high school students early on to see if they test on a civil level, a platinum level, and it gives our workforce and our employers early on the type of workforce that we have coming out of high school. When that big company comes to that city or that town, they don't have time to say, we need to train people. They need to know what you have ready right then to make sure that that company is profitable. And so municipal yeah. leaders are doing that. They're working with their MD, uh, uh, community colleges and they're planning development districts to make sure that they're strengthening their workforce development platforms. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's just the number one issue we hear uh, really not only across the state, across the country uh, right now. And, and the pandemic seems to have amplified that issue. It was an issue before that, but it seems to have amplified it to, to a great extent. What, what are you looking for, um, Mayor, out of, this, out of the state legislature and, and from the state government uh, this upcoming session? What are your priorities for, for your city and the region in general? 
Well, we want to make sure, one, we don't have any unfunded mandates <laughs> uh, yeah. from, on the city level. Uh, yeah. And we will continue to work with the state on a number of things that they're mm -hmm. working on, whether it's education, health care, mm -hmm. workforce development, uh, mm -hmm. economic development. Uh, of course, uh, medical marijuana has been that hot topic as of late. Yeah. And our cities and towns want to make sure, one, we have control on a local level. And, and we can say where these uh, dispensaries are going, uh, not near schools, you know, not near churches. Uh, but yeah. also, uh, we have an opportunity uh, to employ folks in our communities uh, if it were to happen. Uh, and so we want to make sure we get our sales tax because, you know, sales taxes are, are, are critical uh, for the viability of cities and towns. And so yeah. uh, we want to make sure that in any legislation that cities and towns get their due regarding that sales tax uh, that will be taxed with these dispensaries as well. Yeah. Talking about the di diversion in particular, you want to make sure that yep, you diversion. get your diversion. Yeah, That's right. yeah exactly. That's Mayor, right. thanks so much for joining us uh, this morning. And. I know you got a lot on your plate, a lot to do, uh, busy times, but uh, we appreciate you coming on. Thanks, sir. We'll talk again. Thank you so much. You got it. Mayor Eric Simmons of Greenville, Mississippi, has been our guest this segment. Stay with us. We'll be back with more talk, and Frank Bordeaux uh, joins us at 11.05. Stay with us.